Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a linear progress indicator. So a linear progress indicator essentially is like a little bar that just allows you to provide some you know, information to the user of, let's say, the progress of something. So maybe you are loading or downloading a file for the user. Instead of them just waiting for it to download and they don't know if it's going to take five seconds or five minutes, you could provide some sort of indicator. And just having essentially a bar that, you know, goes from zero to 100 is a great way of doing that. And they can see essentially the speed of it as well, because obviously it'll be moving. I'm just going to cover how to implement it in here. What I want you to do as an extra task is two things. One, get it so it essentially animates after, you know, X amount of time. You can choose whatever the time is. And two, implement a slider. You can check out the slider video and sort of attach it to it. So when you move the slider, the linear progress indicator moves as well. But let's just get right down to what we want to do here. So you just add the other child as you normally would. So if we do child, and I'm going to do linear progress indicator. And in here, we can put a value. So let's say if we put a value of zero for now. And we can do a background color. Background color, I'm going to do colors dot. Let's do amber, why not? Next, we are going to do, there's not really much else to it, but I'm going to show you the value color. And what we're going to say for this one is colors dot. Let's say for the value colors, do blue. I think, sorry. The value color you need to do always. Stop to animation, and then you put color. And you put the colors dot. We're gonna do blue, blue. Yeah. So if I save that, you see what we get. So we get this bar. It's amber, and that's because we've got no progress. So put fifty, which is halfway. As you can see, we ooh, don't want that. We do not want that indeed. See the mistake I've made. It ranges between 0 and 1, not 0 to 100. Obviously, you can normalize it using an algorithm to do that. So if you have a value that gives you, let's say, 50, you would just divide by 100 if it is between 0 and 100. So that's really all there is to it. And so if I did 0 0.89, this would be 89%. As you can see, we can't exactly measure it. But trust me, it is 89% of the way along. And that's really all there is to a linear progress indicator. Like I said, as an extra task, I want you to animate it. And you know, obviously, you can check out the animation video as well. And attach it to a slider. So when moving the slider, the linear progress indicator will move as well. But apart from that, there's not much more to it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.